Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Got a neat question on the uh, last video regarding dipole antennas. And um, I'd like to read that to you now. It's from Brad N6GR. Uh, and Brad asked the following. I have heard others say a dipole is a dipole, including NFEDs. Not sure I agree. I like your approach of looking at an antenna as a dipole in one form or another. Is it true that the positive wave flows down the dipole section connected to the center conductor and the negative on the other side to the shield? If so, what happens on uh, uh, with an NFET? And, and that is really a good question. So let's see if we can tackle it just a bit. And I'm not sure I fully understand the question uh, in a way. The um, dipole radiates Y because it's an alternating current. This battery is direct current and it can't alternate. It can't generate a field no matter how fast I turn my wrist. Um, a dipole antenna like this one connected to this really neat device um, can do lots of things. And one of them is it can measure SWR. And right now I'm, I'm not quite where I'd like to be in terms of SWR, but I've created a dipole. So it's got a left and right side. And the SWR uh, is a, almost three to one at 327 megahertz, 327 million cycles per second. So what's happening here? It's this is generating RF and it's going that way and that way very quickly, back and forth, back and forth. And it's doing it through this coax connector. Um, you need to think about flow this way and flow this way. And that generates a field that is a half a wavelength long. So each side is a quarter wavelength. Um, if I were to remove, which I can, uh, one side or the other, uh, in this case, it will not be able to generate the other half of the field. So uh, let's see, this is the outside. And if I ask it to give me the SWR again, it's going to tell me it's pretty awful. Now, even if I stretch out this side and I make it uh, longer, so it's a half a wavelength, uh, and I tell it, okay, do it again. it's not going to come up with a decent SWR. And the reason for that is the impedance of the uh, antenna is maybe 5,000 ohms. And we need a special device to feed that wire that happens to be 60 feet long or 27 feet long or 32 feet long, whatever happens to work. Um, so the matching transformer takes each side of the coax, does a little bit of magic, and connects it to a wire and generates a field. And it is going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Does it need to have uh, another part of the antenna? No, because it is a half wave. Now, if we take something like this and we stick a wire on it as suggested by some, it's what? It's now an off-center fed dipole. And if we make this really long, 67 feet long, 100 feet long, whatever works, it's still an off-center fed dipole if this side is connected to, um, it with this side connected. Whether this side is connected as a wire uh, doesn't matter. It becomes an off-center fed dipole. And 
to that end. Got to be careful with that. To that end, um, it does not need to have a wire dangling or a wire connected to a driven rod or any of those things. Would you take that dipole and put part of it in the ground? Well, of course not. Why? Because it wouldn't work very well. Dirt does not make a good radiator. Uh, it makes a very inefficient antenna. A monopole that is just grounded, period, is a very inefficient antenna. Can you get the SWR to match? Sure. I can get the SWR to be probably close to one-to-one. -one. That doesn't mean it's working very well. That just means the SWR is one-to-one. -one. It's um, That's a whole other issue. So um, what happens with an NFED? Well, you've got a matching box that does some transformation and sends the RF down one, one wire. It is an end fed half wave. So it's a half wave antenna. That was a half wave antenna until I just now destroyed it. I sort of cobbled it together just for this, this video. So um, is in, in some will disagree with me and that's okay. An end fed half wave in my view is not a dipole. You're not feeding in the middle. You don't have the two poles in that sense. So I'm going to call it an in-fed half wave because I think that is a good description. Uh, an off-center fed dipole, a center fed dipole, a monopole, a vertical, a ground plane. I think some of those names are very descriptive and we ought to stick with them. I hope that helps. Brad, I, I hope that explanation works. Uh, if somebody has another idea or a better way to describe it or perhaps a correction to what I said, put it below. Let's hear it. What have you got to say? And uh, while you're doing that, please subscribe. I'm Jim W6LG saying 73. Thanks for watching.